in Canada, a group of Gadarites decided to kill those they suspected of working for British intelligence. One by one, their bodies were found. Tell me about this whole Gadarites and what happened then and their links to the origins of the Khalistanis in Canada. The revolutionaries were spread all over, all over the world. They had links to foreign governments like the Germans, the Turks, the Japanese, to other freedom movements like those of uh, the Irish. And they were operating in places like uh, the west coast of Canada and the US, California and British Columbia. British Columbia and, uh, uh, and Canada, uh, they functioned through a network of Gurudwaras. Like in India, they were functioning through a network of Akhadas. In North America, they were functioning through a network of Gurudwaras, where there were a group of nationalist Sikhs, Punjabis more generally, but specifically uh, Sikhs, who were uh, sort of pushing for Indian freedom. They were providing financing. They were personally willing to pick up arms and move to India and doing all kinds of things were going on. And remember the context as well, a significant proportion of those fighting in the First World War for the British cause in Europe were Sikhs. So this was not a, just, you know, another, just yet another community that was mm. uh, involved in all of this. There, so there was this simmering tension and the and of course, the British intelligence, yet again, was fully aware that, you know, this was a dangerous thing from their perspective. So what they did is interesting. They got hold of a secret agent uh, called Hopkinson. And Hopkinson began to infiltrate these Gurudwaras in British Columbia. And he was given a huge amount of resources to essentially find out loyalist Sikhs, particularly those who were willing to use these res resources he was giving to create first a wedge between the Hindu uh, uh, community and, uh, and, and, the, and the more uh, hardcore Sikh uh, uh, community. Till that point in time, the Hindu Sikh community was basically indistinguishable. It was more a spectrum than, than clearly separate. And so you see that begin to happen in the UK, but more importantly in Canada. Canada. And so, of course, the Gadarites were aware that this was going on. And so they begin to shoot out, shoot the, uh, these informers and British agents in, in their midst. And there are these gunfights in the Gurudwaras. Ultimately, what happens is that um, Bela Singh, who was one of the collaborators, mm -hmm. he uh, panics and he shoots a bunch of uh, Gadarites uh, inside a Gurudwara in British Columbia. And he's captured. Uh, the British cannot hang him and punish him because he is one of theirs. So they do a show trial. And everybody knows that Bela Singh uh, is going to be released at the end of the show trial. Um, so the court happens and Hopkinson turns up to give testimony on his behalf. Uh, but while he is about to do this, another uh, Sikh, uh, 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 Gadarite, pulls out a revolver and shoots um, him dead. And then he also attempts to kill Bela Singh, but he doesn't manage. Anyway, Mewa Singh hmm. uh, is captured. He's hanged. Uh, sadly, nobody remembers Meva Singh in India, but he was, you know, uh, he basically, uh, in my view, should be celebrated. He was hanged, huh? He was hanged. Bela Singh, the collaborator. Collaborator. He, Bela Singh, however, found that it was too dangerous to be for him to be in Canada because there were all these Gadarite Sikhs hunting for him. He decides then that it's actually better for him to go back to Punjab, which is actually safer. Hmm. where he can sort of disappear in the woodwork uh, among the general population. But even there, he's hunted down by the revolutionaries and killed. Um, but what happens as a result of this is that there is this group of uh, British loyalist Sikhs who slowly take control of the Gurudwaras uh, uh, with British support, both in Canada and in the UK. Hmm. And uh, this idea of Khalistani movement interestingly, even today, uh, comes from exactly those same Gurudwaras that had been infiltrated with Hopkinson a hundred years ago. Oh. So this is the source of your Khalistani movement. So in case you're wondering, why on earth would Canada be the center of Khalistani movement of, you know, of all places on earth? Well, this is the reason. And also the UK as well. Same reason. Click here to watch the full episode.